We must protect the position of the American dollar. China is now trying to replace the U.S. dollar. Countries are looking for alternatives, and China's yuan is emerging as a clear challenge. China and Brazil Chinese strongman Xi Jinping. The Chinese yuan will play. Just this week, Brazil and China have agreed that they would no longer use the American dollar for trades. To put this whole thing into perspective for you, prior to this week, when Brazil and China wanted to trade with one another, what they would do is take their respective currencies, whether it was the Brazilian reals or the Chinese wands, and convert it into dollars before converting the dollar into whatever currency to buy whatever goods they want. This is good news for both Brazil and China because that means that with a more efficient transaction, they can avoid fees and develop power for their own currencies. But what does this mean for the United States? Was it a smart move for Brazil and China? Let's take a deeper look inside why this happened in the first place. For a while now, we've seen countries like Brazil, India, China, and South Africa trying to come together to create a new reserve currency so that they don't have to keep relying on the US dollar. Who wants to be constantly bullied? That too by the world superpower, the United States? Mm, no. What seems like a historic move is kind of a slap in the face to the United States, who's been thriving on other countries' dependence. Brazil and China announced just last week that they would no longer transact with the dollar. Placing the U.S. dollar with their own currency in trade, Brazil and China. Prioritizing their own currencies. Now, you might be wondering, why is this such a big deal and who cares what Brazil and China are doing? Because it doesn't really affect us. Well, here's the ultimate fact for you. Whether we like it or not, it does affect everyone rather indirectly as it devalues the dollar relative to other countries. Everyone knows the American dollar is the world's reserve currency, and every country in the world saves their money in dollars because, well, dollars are just looked at as a safe haven. Not to mention, countries all around the world, including some of the biggest governments around the world, have faith and trust in the United States, which makes the dollars way more valuable. Here's the catch. In recent years, we've started to see countries like China and Japan working towards moving away from the dollar. This has made many other countries significantly worried about the health and status of the dollar, worrying about high inflation and ultimately becoming less interested in wanting to invest or own the dollar. That is why it is extremely important to understand the impact of the dollar, because the United States at the moment has relatively high inflation. Now, when a country has high inflation, there are primarily two concerns. Number one is that it makes it more expensive and hence difficult for the regular consumer to buy things. And number two is that loads of people are concerned about their investment in the dollar. And as you probably already know, when you have high inflation, the value of your investment will simultaneously drop also, which defeats the entire purpose of investing in the first place. According to the Personal Consumption Expenditures Price Index, also known as PCE, inflation increased by 0.3%, which is slightly lower than expected, but still very high. So now the Federal Reserve Bank is going to look at this inflation data and decide what to do with interest rates again. According to American attorney and investment banker Jerome Powell, the United States banking crisis may essentially be good news for the fight on inflation. This is because inflation means you have an increase of money out there and in turn, you'll be inflating the monetary supply. Remember, money can be the actual money that you earn, but it can also be credit, loans and debts. So the Federal Reserve Bank was saying that they were actively working to bring down inflation by raising interest rates, and it makes things less affordable, ultimately reducing demands. The Federal Reserve also went on to say that the banking crisis is likely to create a bit of a credit crunch, meaning that less available credit, less loans, and less money from banks floating around, which they say could help the fight on inflation. What does that mean? It simply means that the credit levels are going to go down because of the credit crisis. The banking sector getting hurt also means less loans, 
which would help reduce demand, cooling down inflation. But if the availability of credits and loans decrease, that could have an impact on inflation and a huge impact on the economy. I guess China and Brazil ditching the dollar is basically a stomp on the green stuff and a way to establish Chinese currency as the dominant currency. Tech entrepreneur Elon Musk recently tweeted, Serious issue. U.S. policy has been too heavy-handed, making countries want to ditch the U.S. dollar. Well enough, the United States has worked towards establishing their currency as a safe haven by exemplifying a fruitful economy, democracy, and transparent government systems. But it seems like times have changed and will continue to change, as increasing number of countries are thoroughly looking for alternative currencies to indulge in. As if matters couldn't get worse, President Joe Biden recently stated, quote, we would impose heavy sanctions on anyone attempting to rearm Russia. This was in response to China's possibility of aiding Russia. The message seemed to hit hard as Russia has turned to the Chinese yuan, leaving the American dollar. So, is this China's new world order? What do you think? Let us know in the comments section below. Well enough, for all these reasons described, it is very important to keep an eye on the Federal Reserve to keep tabs on what's happening in the economy and to keep an eye on what's happening with credit availability. Financial education will allow you to understand the way money works in our world. For more informational videos like this, like and subscribe to our channel and keep the notification bell on for regular updates on our channel. Till next time, stay investing and we'll see you on our next venture.